Hello YouTube, welcome to today's video. In today's video I want to explain a concept that will help everyone climb despite whatever elo you are in. So a typical situation is that people are gaining roughly the same amount of LP when they win as when they lose. So an example would be you're gaining 16 and you're losing 16. Now for some people they might have a little bit higher MMR so they gain more than they lose and vice versa some might have a little bit lower but generally speaking it's roughly the same so if a person such as this guy this is the person I um, randomly played with in solo queue if a player goes 10 and 10 and they have same LP gains meaning they win 16 they lose 16 they are essentially not climbing by going 10 wins and 10 losses and most people would then say, oh, well, as long as I'm just winning the next game, then I am technically climbing, which is true. But this is a very slow method of climbing because essentially what you're doing is you're just spamming games over and over and over again and hoping that you essentially just kind flip a little bit more often that you win uh, rather than you lose. So what you instead would do, we'll actually go into paint here. So if you're gaining plus 16, and minus 16 uh, constantly then essentially just not climbing anywhere right you're just constantly gonna be at zero lp gained um, like this um, so the way that you would like to basically climb would be to obviously if you could just win every game that would be really really good but not everyone is capable of winning every game and not doing it consistently at least so what you want to do is instead of going 10 and 10 win loss you would like to go 12 and 8 because the difference between going 10 and 10 where you basically gain 0 LP and going 12 and 8 where you end up let's say gaining let's say this is 4 more wins right so this is 4 times 16 which would then be 64 LP gained is that here you only have 8 losses and you have 12 wins whereas here you have 10 wins 10 losses which puts you at 0 LP what you want to try and do is essentially try and win these games that are very unwinnable or seem very unwinnable at least because whenever you win a very unwinnable game the difference between you winning and losing is essentially every time 32 lp because if you win you gain plus 16 and if you lose it's minus 16 lp so i have found a situation i found a game this game seemed very much unwinnable because our mid laner wasn't doing too good uh, our support died a ton and made the game really really difficult but after 40 minutes we eventually made it to the enemy base and we ended up winning the game and if i had lost this game then i would have been down 16 lp meaning i would have to win my next two games spending another one and a half hours basically essentially almost two hours in order to get the LP back that I could just have gotten from winning this game. So the general concept of this video is basically try as hard as you possibly can to win the games that seem almost unwinnable. Now I'm not saying that every game is winnable because some games are simply you're too far behind, everyone has simply messed up. So if it's 20 to 1 in team score and everyone is behind, you're most likely going to lose the game no matter what. If you stole the game just for 20 minutes, 25, 30 minutes, it probably doesn't matter and you're going to lose. But if you have one lane that is winning, one player who's ahead, preferably two, then the game is still very much winnable and you just want to try and stall out the game. Especially if you have a scaling team comp, scaling champions, if you are playing a carry champion, whatever it might be, and try and win the game. Because otherwise, the only way that you're really going to be climbing is essentially just by spamming games and not everyone have time to spam games so it's much better for you to simply try as hard as possible to win the games that already seem unwinnable because it's such a big difference between you winning and losing even if the chance of you winning is very very small so how do you end up actually stalling out the game and what can you do to actually have a chance of dragging out the game to an almost 50 50 situation where you can win the game so the first thing would be that you are going to mute all because you don't want to get tilted by everyone losing in the early game and saying oh let's ff 15 guys or oh this guy's shit and stuff like that the second thing is you don't want to contribute with any type of flame or any type of negative behavior because if you're typing oh my mid laner is shit or 
oh, why are you dying here? Or you, you were trash, then essentially what you're doing is you're leading your team towards chatting and focusing more on chatting and coming up with a good response. Maybe checking people's OP.GG in the middle of the game to come with like actual facts uh, to try and trash talk someone rather than actually focus on playing the game, potentially look to make a roam or catch away or whatever it might be. And all those small things, when they basically get stacked on top of each other, could actually lead to you losing the game even harder and having no chance of winning. Then the next thing you want to do is try and stall out the game for as much as possible. So you don't want to take fights that you pretty much know you're going to lose. So it's completely fine for you to give the first, second and third Drake. If you have a scaling team comp, then contest the fourth dragon. Same thing goes for inhip. It's completely fine for you to give one inhip, but you can't give two or three inhips because then the enemy team can essentially just end the game after just taking a Baron. So you want to try and give as many uh, things up as possible without actually putting you in a situation where the game is just over. So that way you can drag out the game, you can get more items, you can scale. Eventually, if you drag the game out long enough, everyone is going to be full built. Meaning that even if the enemy team has a 5 or 10k gold lead, it doesn't matter because they can't spend that 5 or 10k gold on anything. Um, so basically, the concept is try your hardest to win the unwinnable games because that's the easiest way to climb. Because otherwise, the only other way is to spam games. And most of us are basically only playing League in our spare time, meaning that we don't have time to play 10 games a day and hoping that we can flip uh, most of them and end up winning so that's basically how you climb and as you can see recently i'm 13 and 7 on this account uh, and this was the game that i won uh, where the game does seem completely unwinnable and there will be games where they're not winnable and your teammates are simply bad but try and win every single game that just seems slightly winnable so if you have one teammate that's ahead play around that teammate stall out the game if you have a scaling team comp cast it in Pokemon Lulu, whatever it might be, then try and stall, and that's your best chance of winning, basically. So, that's basically the video. If you enjoyed it, remember to like. If you have any questions regarding this, basically, method on how to drag out the game and basically never giving up, you almost seem kind of delusional to be honest. You have to almost be delusional uh, and say, even if there's just a 5% chance of winning, then you still play it out. Um, because it will eventually lead to some wins that can help you climb. And always subscribe to the YouTube. And then I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next YouTube video or on my next live stream on Twitch. See you guys.